A letter backed by 33 healthcare organisations is asking the government to move up ethnic minority backgrounds in the rollout for the COVID-19 vaccine. The letter also says the priority of BAME groups should put them in the same order as those aged 16 to 64 with underlying health problems. This comes after a survey from the British Medical Association suggests hundreds of doctors from ethnic minority backgrounds don't feel protected from COVID at work. Well, meanwhile, a separate study found that the NHS is failing people from ethnic minority backgrounds thanks to structural racism. The report by the University of Manchester revealed that the average health of 60-year-olds from Gypsy or Irish traveller, Bangladeshi, Pakistani and Arab groups were similar to white British 80-year-olds. Around 12% of British adults are from an ethnic minority group. But in 15 out of 17 ethnic minorities, health-related quality of life was worse than for white British people, while inequalities were wider for women. Well, we got the reaction from the chair of the Cameroon Doctors UK, that's Dr Linda Bello, and senior NHS consultant psychiatrist Dr J.S. Bamra. This is a combined effort of 33 organisations, Kate, and it is really about nine us. It is principally because, obviously, there has been frustration that... The priorities in some ways are not being seen through, although we've been actually campaigning on this for a good while. The, as you know, the pandemic started with the lockdown in March. It's been around since since January of last year. So we've 12 months into the pandemic and we've seen a, a, a large number of ethnic communities devastated. Of course, this has been hard for many other groups as well, including in care homes. But we know that the other risk, highly risky group with COVID has been ethnic BME, ethnic groups, and amongst them, BME healthcare workers uh, too, so particularly. It's not an issue about people waiting longer. I mean, the whole point of having a grouping system, there's nine groups, is because someone has had a look at it and, and seen which groups are likely to do worse from a COVID-19 uh, infection. Um, and we think by the, the grouping that we've suggested that we go into, which is a group six, that it makes sense because, you know, there is evidence that ethnic minority communities have a higher risk of COVID infection and poor outcomes from it. So putting us in group six with the same groups of people that have diabetes, asthma, that have the same risk of having a COVID-19 infection that we have and we've been shown to have, it makes absolute sense. And there has to be priorities because not everyone will uh, react uh, in the same way to a COVID-19 infection. So I think it, it makes absolute sense.